We're here this morning at lovely Running Springs Ranch in northeastern Washington State. We're hosting a harvest and distillation of our rose geranium that is going to be part of our rose geranium hydrosol. We're joined by a group of our reps, our brokers, our friends, and, and uh, the lovely rural nature of northeastern Washington State. We're a couple of hours from the Canadian border and uh, it's a very special microclimate. The summers are hot and dry, which is very beneficial for growing aromatic medicinal plants such as rose geranium and lemon thyme and lavender. So we're enjoying ourselves and we're just getting ready to hand harvest our rose geranium. Harvesting rose geranium for our hydrosol. Rose geranium is also known as Pelargonium capitatum, or a tar of rose, which I love. It takes eight pounds of rose geranium to make a gallon of hydrosol. If you, if you read about it, I begin to start by um, uh, a quote that I really loved, and I talk about the fragrant journey, as I was mentioning a little bit earlier, from cosmic to, co to um, cosmetic, and it really pretty much encapsulates exactly what our experience was this morning, where we're harvesting um, rose geranium, we're distilling it, and we're actually seeing the transformation of uh, the, we're getting an essential oil, which is also called an etheric oil, and we're, we're looking at, through the essential oil, we've got um, a representation of the plant's immune system, and the hydrosol represents the watery aspect of this immune system. So every time we saturate our faces with it, um, regardless of the skin, whether it's psoriasis or eczema or acne or whatever is going on on the skin, the hydrosols have an ability to um, comfort, heal, to restore, to vitalize, to tonify, to hydrate, and, and they are very exquisite balancers. They balance, as we mentioned, they rebalance the pH of the skin. You should always be saturating your face with a, um, with a hydrosol after you get out of a shower or after you wash your face because that reestablishes the proper pH for the skin. It's antimicrobial, antiviral, and rose atar, I mean rose uh, geranium is very specific for a lot of uh, hormonal imbalances. So, and the, again, we're using a watery homeopathic aspect of the plant essential oil. So, so I describe it there, and the, the next page um, also about water talks about the Panchamahabhutas. In Ayurvedic medicine, Panchamahabhutas are the five great elements, so ether, air, fire, um, ether, air, fire, water, earth. So in each aspect of the distillation that Tracy just did, we saw all those represented. Um, the uh, an endless flow of prana that connects the heart and the breath, so the respiration, um, and, and the plants inhale the carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen, and we do the opposite. So there's this symbiotic relationship the two of, between the two of us, and we work from harvesting from the fertility of the earth, and we work with the fire that ignites the still, and we've got the water that becomes the transformative medium via the steam, and then you get the biologically adapted intelligence of the aromatic molecules, and the and a medicinal aromatic plant, there are very few plants in the globe, and they only grow in certain areas, and this is one particular microclimate, which is, which is very suited to specific plants that offer um, uh, grassroots health care. Oh, wonderful. 
Thank <laughs> you.